Are you tired of selling your cards on eBay, creating the listing, taking the pictures, front, back, shipping, non-paying bidders? Let the pros at Fanatics Marketplace do all of the work for you. I do. That's why I use Fanatics for my vaulting and for my selling. If you've got a bunch of unwanted inventory that you've been sitting on for days, weeks, months, years, ship it to Fanatics Marketplace and let them do all the work. Just make sure when you ship it, you use the promotional code CAJUN, all capital letters, C-A-J-U-N, and tell them that Cajun Cardboard sent you and let the pros do the rest at Fanatics Marketplace. All right, folks, it's official. Uh, PSA has joined CGC and BGS and SGC as, um, I don't want to say partners, although that's what the uh, the title says. Look, I'll just switch you guys over. Fanatics Collect, and which is the old PWCC. I'm going to get used to saying uh, Fanatics Collect, I promise. Fanatics Collect and PSA partner to elevate collecting for all. All right, that's the title. We've got an email that everybody who's a uh, Fanatics Collect Vault member should have gotten. Uh, they're offering streamlined authentication and grading services. So exactly the same services that were being offered, although different pricing, and we'll look at that, same services that were being off, uh, offered for SGC and BGS and CGC where you can submit your raw cards using the promo code CAJUN, all capital letters, C-A-J-U-N, to Fanatics Collect. They take your cards, they ship them to PSA, right, the leading grading company in the world. They grade your cards, they come back to Fanatics Fanatics Collect, you can put them in your vault, you can sell them in the weekly, if it's a big dog whale, you can sell it in the Premier. <coughs> Again, thank you in advance for using the promo code CAJUN, all capital letters, you're the best. And by the way, thank you to those of you out there, uh, over 2,000 people, uh, well I shouldn't say that, over 2,000 cards were sold just in the last two months using the promo code CAJUN. I am A, flattered, and B, incredibly appreciative because this is my only source of income in the hobby as of right now is the promo code for selling cards on Fanatics Collect, buy now, weekly, or premiere. Uh, so most most appreciative to you guys who have considered using and have used that promo code Cajun and specifically lately it's been a, uh, a pretty good quantity and a good inflow and if you have any questions about that process let me know all right let's get to the topic of the day what does this mean you grade with PSA I grade with PSA I'll just use you me as an example I send probably close to 100 200 300 cards somewhere in that range to PSA every single month not just to buy raw grade flip and sell Sell, but sometimes I'm trying to grow my collection. In fact, oftentimes I'm trying to grow my collection. Depending on what the grade that comes back is, I decide whether to sell it or keep it and upgrade what I have. So uh, I do it with Jordan. I do it with soccer cards. I do it with some other 90s cards. You guys know how I roll. A lot of you guys out there transact the same way. You're an investor, but you're also a collector. You may keep it. You may sell it. Now you can do your PSA business through the Fanatics Collect website. That's what this email is about. And let's just kind of cut to the chase here so this video doesn't become too long. Click the button to get started. This is about to show you how you can submit your raw cards to Fanatics Collect and let them handle the PSA grading process and get those cards right into these Fanatics Collect weekly auctions, premier auctions, or even the Buy Now Marketplace. Yes, you could put it in any three of those uh, marketplaces. Here we go. Submit now. Boom. I click it. Here's what comes up look familiar this is the exact same interface the exact same interface as I've done on numerous videos before even before the name changed from PWCC to Fanatics Collect only we're not sending graded cards we're gonna send what non authenticated raw trading cards that we want to get PSA graded and then into the weekly or or maybe you're the one of those I'm gonna take it to the grave guys you just want to get these things graded and put these bad boys in your vault or maybe you want to put them all in your vault and then decide, depending on what they graded, whether or not you want to sell these on the weekly auction. So here's the button we're going to click, non-authenticated raw trading cards. Boom. All right. Now here's your options. It says... All cards sold or vaulted with Fanatics Collect must be authenticated. In other words, we know this. This is the general premise. You can't stick a, just a regular stinking raw card in your vault. It's got to be Mike Baker authenticated or it's got to go to one of the grading companies. Well, look what's uh, one flat fee, no up charges, no volume minimums and maximums for all authentication partners. That's fine. So we've got one... Uh, <clears throat> 
Well, it says no upcharges. Well, that's interesting. So that's a question that I'm going to have to ask. And I don't know if that's a mistake, but it says no upcharges. Uh, that can be tricky. That's something that we're going to have to explore because if I send a $15,000 Michael Jordan card to get graded and I send it at value bulk, are you telling me I am not going to get upcharged? I don't know. that. don't think that's what that sentence intends, but that sure as hell is how it reads. I'm just now noticing that for the first time that is going to be a question for my fanatics collect people to clarify that i don't think i would count on uh using this as a way to circumvent the uh grading prices uh based on um value right because we're about to look at that in a little more detail i'm getting off topic so uh i want to uh you've got an option here you just like you do before psa was part of this you know grand scheme you can weekly auction with psa meaning I'm sending you raw cards. I want them to come back, go into this staging period once they've been graded. I pay my bill, and then they go straight into the weekly auction. Or you can go to archive only, uh, where I just want you to grade my cards and put them in my vault, man. Uh, let's go with, uh, there's a couple things to discuss here. Let's go with vault archival first, okay? I want to get these cards, these raw cards, into Fanatics Collect using the promo code Cajun. Then I want them to go to PSA, and then I want them to come back from PSA and be placed into my vault only. I can pick and choose what I sell. This is what I recommend. Here are the consequences between selling now and vault archive only. It's a $3 fee to vault or archive your card if it's worth less than $50 once graded. Okay, let's talk about that. And there's a way around that. There is a carve-out exception, right? So uh, there is a carve-out exception. This is my understanding based on a conversation I just had with the folks at Fanatics Collect. If I send a crappy little, uh, you know, Metal 97 Metal Universe uh, Ron Harper, uh, if that exists. I don't even know if he's in the checklist. He might not be in the checklist. A Tony Kukoc base 97 Metal Universe. It goes to PSA. I thought I had a chance at a 10 and a set collector would eat it up, but it came back at 8. So I've got probably a $9 card. But I've chosen to submit that raw card initially right now to the vault archival with PSA. If Fanatics Collect gets that PSA 8 Tony Kukoc 97 Metal Universe $8 card back and puts it in my vault. I'm going to get charged a $3 vault fee. Remember, any cards in your vault over $50 in value, right? And I know that's a little bit subjective, but let's just ignore that for now. Any cards above $50 in value, free vaulting services forever, no fees, period, end of story forever. Vault it as long as you want it. 10 more years, free vaulting for $50 or more value cards. But my Tony Kukoc is an $8 card, $10 card, $12 card. I didn't even get my money back from the PSA grading fee. I don't have a good eye. I thought it was a 10. It came back an eight, right? Happens. Shit happens. Uh, stuff happens. I got to get better at cursing. Uh, so I've got this Kukoc card. There's a 30-day window where you can change your mind, okay? When those cards come back from PSA, every card you got that's worth less than $50 goes into your vault, but you can move those into a weekly auction and circumvent slash avoid slash dodge slash preclude the $3 vaulting fee. So I know we're talking about small numbers, but if some of you guys out there are the type that are going to submit 200, 400 cards, well, $3 times, you know, 80 cards, 100 cards, you know, you start to talk about real numbers and that's real money, especially in today's economy. So I wanted you guys to know, this is my personal opinion. I like to retain control over my cards. You know, one thing we haven't talked about is what if you're sending 100 cards the grades matter as to whether or not you want to sell the cards or keep the cards. The grades matter as to whether maybe you want to sell the cards uh, in you know the Fanatics Collect Weekly or maybe you want to try to sell the card on Instagram, right? So I think you always choose archive only. This is my opinion. You always choose archive only when you submit your raw cards to go through PSA and come back because they'll go into your vault and then you can always decide, I want to grade this one, I want to keep this one. I want to put this one on the Buy Now Marketplace. I want to ship this one back to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, just so I can have it sitting on my desk and see, you know, Tony Kukoc's face every day. You know, you can 
kind of maintain control over all the raw cards that you sent to Fanatics Collect that came back PSA graded, right? Uh, let's keep on trucking here. So I'm going to click this, and I'm just going to keep walking you guys through this. So boom, we're sending raw cards. Now, this is the first decision you've got to make. It's under PSA submission uh, details, right? And so I'm going to select my tier. Well, the first one is trading card game bulk. That's not me. I don't know anything about mythical dragons or little Pokemon people or anything like that. No games there. We're not playing games. We're doing big business. We're sending basketball cards, okay? So I'm going to choose value bulk. Well, why, how, what gives me the right to choose value bulk? Estimated turnaround time, 45 business days. Uh, $18.99, the exact same price as if I did my, I just did a PSA submission yesterday before they announced this, right? So if I'm sending my cards direct to PSA myself and they're shipping back to me myself, this is the exact same price. It's not better. It's not worse. It's just the exact same. So there's no tangible, you know, monetary difference between submitting it straight to PSA yourself or sending it to uh, Fanatics Collect unless I'm missing something. Uh, declared value 500 or less. That's the exact same as well. 20 card minimum, 1980 to present or 1979 or older. So that's every card in the world. <laughs> and I don't know if it's a sports card and it exists. It is either 79 or older or 80 or present. It can't, there is no other, you know, unless there's some years I don't know about. That's it. That's every year in the world. So pretty much value bulk covers everything. Vintage, ultra modern, you know, pre-war, etc. Okay, just remember that fit $500 declared value or less, right? All right, so now we're moving on to the second part of this. And of course, if you want to send big dog stuff, you know, and use the promo code Cajun and put it into the premier auction and you want to pay $3,999 because you got a Kobe Bryant PMG green and use the promo code Cajun, uh, you know, that's great. You can help me buy, uh, you know, you buy a Tesla or something like that. I would be most appreciative, but you've got some big time, obviously grading options up here. I've never looked at grading options this high, but if it's worth more than a quarter of a million dollars, uh, you need to pay $8,000 to grade your card. Obviously, more uh, more risk, more uh, potential for liability on PSA's part. That's how they do it. You know, don't shoot the messenger. Uh, now we've got to put the comments in there. By the way, you'll notice the promo code survived, at least for now. So uh, young uh, Mr. Cajun Cardboard uh, still has uh, the, the ability to steer some traffic and be compensated for that to Fanatics Collect, just like with PWCC, its predecessor. So if you're going to put your promo code in here, pop it in here, capital letters, C-A-J-U-N. All right, submission contents. I'm going to click it, add item. This is going to look very similar to, but not the exact same, and it Definitely still needs to be tweaked, so prepare yourself. This is not exactly the same as the online interface for a PSA submission, which I'm very familiar with. This is what pops up. You've got a product, and it, at least it gives you an example in the field, sort of grayed out, but if you look close enough, tops chrome. So I would put in here Metal Universe. Uh, I would actually put in 1997 Metal Universe. That's me, but uh, down here you're going to put year. Then you, for subject, that means player. Right, so Michael Jordan, uh, you know Michael Doliak, uh, Oliver Miller, all of the famous players. Any of those players will do. Type sports card. I think that's sort of superfluous. I would put basketball card. I don't know why there is even a field for type because I've clicked on that under the submission level, so they should know it's not a trading card game. What else is there? I would put basketball card personally. I know it says sports card, but I'd put basketball card. Then it says year. I'd put in my 1997. Now they know I have a 1997 Metal Universe Tony Kukoc. Quantity, you can obviously submit more than one, just like on PSA. Card number, and then the combined declared value. Just like on PSA, the card number is the card number. Uh, and then the declared value, if you have a quantity of three, you would you know add up. It would be the aggregate declared value, just like it is on the PSA website. And then you can add the next one right here, or you can add and finish if you're just sending one card. Make sense? So that's what that looks like. That's as far as I can take you on here because I don't have any cards to plug in. I'm not going to plug in 20 and then click finish. But after this, my understanding is, and this is the first question I ask, is when do I pay? I want to submit a bunch of raw cards to Fanatics Collect to grade with PSA. Thank you for bringing PSA on board. Nat, thank you for getting on board to some extent. And now there's a partnership between two of the biggest entities in the hobby. This is all about streamlining getting in and out of cards you don't really want. 
right? Some people are buying and selling to flip and make a profit and this is their livelihood and this is their business. That's great. There's a place for everybody in the hobby. Some people are, are opening hobby wax boxes and they hate, the, you know, they don't want a, you know, fill in the blank, uh, Anthony Edwards, you know, silver prism from 2023. They want to grade the thing, get the most bang for their buck, and then move this thing along, and then reinvest that money and go gamble on some more hobby boxes, right? Uh, and then some people like me are like, well, I might sell some, I might buy some. It just depends on what the cards grade. Well, now PSA is on board with Fanatics Collect, and they can do all the work for you. So you don't have to, like right now, for me, for example, let me get you off screen here because I don't think there's anything else for me to screen share anymore. And I apologize for the striped shirt. I know it's a no-no uh, when you're kind of filming, right? It's bad. It's just like an eyesore. I'm sorry. So just focus on my face, right? Uh, so like just the other day, I sent 85 cards uh, to PSA. I filled out the PSA submission form. I created my own shipping label. I packaged all my cards together. I sent it directly to PSA. They're going to send it directly back to me. I could have put it in the PSA vault, which is a great option as well, right? Uh, if you wanted to sell your cards on eBay, right? Or you wanted to just vault them with PSA. Same way you vault with Fanatics Collect. I vault my stuff with Fanatics Collect now. Um, one day in the future, based on some recent conversations, I might not vault every single one of my cards with Fanatics Collect in their vault right now. Uh, PSA might become an option. You know, fingers crossed things progress. Anyway, uh, so I send those cards to PSA. Five weeks later, I get the cards back. I film them over here. I show you guys a great, so hopefully a great PSA grade reveal video with a bunch of Jim Mint 10s. And then I decide what to do with my cards well you can now uh, decide what to do with your cards while they're in this little purgatory this little holding pattern in your fanatics collect vault so they're sitting there and they're in your vault and they're waiting for you to tell them what to do do I want to vault it do I want to sell it you can kind of pick and choose how about this well maybe it's not the right time to sell an Anthony Edwards or a Tyrese Halliburton or a Tyrese Maxi card or a Jalen Brunson card maybe the best time to sell those cards is what I don't know October 15th as the season approaches and basketball started to take you know take the attention of the hobby uh as we approach opening night the knicks are looking good this year i want to wait i want to sell my jalen brunson card in october well you're going to have a drop down menu where maybe you want to sell your dr j uh you know 81 tops dr j psa 9 in the very next weekly auction let's get some cash flow going but i want to sell my jalen brunson on october 15th right before the season starts because he's an active player he's an ultra modern card and that's when those cards are going to be doing the best so you've got that option and then here's the other thing you know what I changed my mind I want to PC Jalen Brunson I want to keep that Jalen Brunson card well you just stick the card in your vault and if it's worth more than 50 bucks you don't pay a penny right uh, and so that's when you'll pay your invoice from PSA by the way before you get access to all the card the raw cards that finally came back graded and are sitting in your fanatics collect account you're going to have to pay your PSA invoice, whatever that invoice is. You'll get to see it on your Fanatics Collect account on your dashboard. Once you pay that with your Fanatics uh, Collect account balance or your credit card or whatever methods they have to pay it, I'm assuming you could wire the money or something. I don't know. I, I always just pay with my Fanatics Collect account because I leave some money in that account. So I always have money. So I never really use a credit card. Um, <clears throat> so I don't have to deal with like credit card fees and all that stuff. But uh, once you pay that PSA invoice or call it whatever you want fanatics collect slash PSA invoice boom you've got access to do whatever the hell you want with your cards that's why I say vault archival especially given that you don't have to pay the three dollar fee if you move your low end misses worth less than fifty dollars into the weekly auction you won't get hit with that three dollar fee um, and again, the $3 fee, $3 ain't changing anybody's mind on damn near anything. Um, but, you know, again, I mean, there might be people out there that are sending 800 cards through this process. God, if you're sending 800 cards, please consider using the promo code. I'd be most appreciative. But, uh, you know, $3 can add up if you multiply $3 times a big number. It's a damn big number. It's triple the big number. So, um, you know, maybe that matters to you. But now that you've got this carve out where if your, you know, cards are below 50 bucks and you're going to hit with this $3 fee and you're like, oh, I don't want to hit with a $3 fee on a $15 card to put it in my vault, move it into the weekly auction. And you have to do that within 30 days, okay? That card's got to be out of your vault within 30 days to avoid that $3 charge for a, you know, basically, it's called, the, it should be called the $3 cheap card charge. And look, let's look at it from Fanatics Collect perspective. The purpose of the vault isn't for somebody to go put 50,000 
$8 cards. They don't want the, because that's a lot of work. Fanatics Collect has got to do the same amount of work. And again, I'm just trying to see things from their perspective. I know it's going to sound like I'm a homer because I'm an affiliate partner, but like as a business owner, I'm thinking about it. Like I'm a real estate attorney, for example. So uh, if I get, uh, you know, I want only million dollar home sales, right? Because I, I make more money, the more valuable the home is. I, own, I want only million dollar home sales. In a perfect world, I would only do million dollar deals. Right now, we're begging for anything. Give me your mobile homes, you know, closings, whatever, because real estate sucks because the economy is terrible, but rates are about to get better. Uh, but I don't want to make a living. If I do 100 mobile home closings, I'm going to make a lot I'm gonna do the exact same work, maybe more work, than if I did 100 $1 million home sale closings, right? But I'll make a ton more money on the million dollar home sale closings. It's the same analogy with Fanatics Collect. If you send them 500 cards to be graded, they don't want you to send cards that are not grade worthy. They want you to send cards that are grade worthy. We don't want to clutter the P, uh, the Fanatics Collect weekly auction with a bunch of twelve to fifteen dollar cards. We just don't. Uh, I don't. You shouldn't. They sure as hell don't because they've got to upload the images on all those. They've got to inventory all those. They've got to have somebody at intake when those cards come back from PSA. So that's why they're suggesting you only send cards of value of fifty dollars or more. It doesn't mean if a card comes back and it's worth thirty five dollars, you know you're gonna to get penalized or punished or anything like that it's just they don't want you know that's not the site ebay is still the site to sell a seven dollar card or a four dollar card that's not what the uh the primary focus of the fanatics collect weekly auctions is going to be that's not the direction they want to head where they have forty seven thousand dollars uh forty seven thousand cards you know in a weekly auction and uh thirty five thousand of them are worth you know twenty one dollars or less that's not what they want are there cards like that in here yeah it's i think it's a great way to pick up some low-hanging fruit because ain't nobody looking on the pwcc weekly for those little chintzy cheap cards like that and you can actually pick up some really good deals last week i bought two 2014 prism world cup psa 10 aerial assault christian ronaldo uh inserts both of them psa 10 i was like damn these look cheap 20 dollars out the door 20 dollars for those cards and so uh there are low-hanging fruit but that's not the focus and so that's why they have that 50 dollars recommendation in there that's why they charge you three bucks to vault cards that are worth less than 50 bucks because if they don't charge a fee then Everybody's going to send 50,000 cards to uh, Fanatics Collect and vault them for free. And Fanatics Collect is going to do all the work and make no money on it. It's not a nonprofit. I mean, you've got to look at it from the perspective of a business owner. So I'm trying to do that as well. I have talked a long time about this new change. I don't know if I left anything out. Uh, I tried to think of all the questions that you guys might ask. I made a little list over here. 20 card minimum for the $18.99 value. Uh, PSA pricing, exact same as doing it through Fanatics Collect. Um, create. Uh, you do not, okay, just, just to make sure we're clear. If you do it the way I just showed you on screen share and you submit your raw cards to Fanatics Collect to then go to PSA and then back to Fanatics Collect where you can make the decision to vault or to weekly auction, you do not create an accompanying duplicate PSA submission form. You do not create a submission through PSA. You just did it on the Fanatics Collect site. So it's one or the other, not both. There's no need to duplicate and create another submission over here. That will only cause confusion uh, for sure. Uh, why how would you ever sell rather than vault that that's my question i don't think there's a reason for you to ever click that button sell in the weekly auction i think you should always click the vault archival if i am missing something on that someone please uh please let me know because no matter what even if you click the sell in weekly auction when they come back you still got to decide which weekly auction to sell it in so you're still going to go click through every single card that came back psa graded and decide which weekly auction to put it in so why not just choose Vault Archival? I'm, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I don't know. But that's my general thought, especially considering I know I'm going to keep some and I know I'm going to sell some. Always err on the side of keeping them because you can always change your mind and sell them. In other words, if I send 50 cards, Vault Archival only, those cards come back from PSA. 
I could still go move every single one of those 50 cards into the weekly auction. So I don't, I don't see the harm done. Let me know if I'm missing something there. When and how do I pay? Well, you pay when the cards come back from PSA. You don't pay at the beginning. Same thing with PSA. I don't pay. I get, create a PSA submission. I get an invoice. $718. I don't pay $718 the day I ship the cards. I pay $718 or there might be upcharges once the cards are actually graded and I get an email from PSA. So I pay it after the service is provided. Exact same thing here. You will pay an invoice that you can look at with you know potential upcharges when the cards come back from PSA and hit and are curated into your Fanatics Collect vault or in that holding pattern. I do need to get an answer on the no upcharges verbiage that we saw on that submission form. I really need to check on that because that's a big deal it doesn't make sense i can't imagine i could send a bunch of fifty thousand dollar you know mickey mantle cards to get graded at eighteen dollars and 99 cents with no risk of upcharge if i could everybody on earth would do this i don't think that was the intention so i need to check on that verbiage i would assume that that's a, an error and an oversight but i'll let somebody else weigh in on that um why the $50 value? We talked about why the $50 value recommendation is in there. It's because, again, they don't want hundreds of billions of little chintzy cards cluttering up the buy now marketplace, cluttering up the weekly auction. Think about it you know, from any perspective, the perspective of a seller. I don't want to put my card on a site where there's 800 zillion trillion other cards that you know people, buyers would get so tired of filtering through all the crappy cards, they can never get to the good cards. You know, I, I think that's part of the reason. Plus, it's a lot of work for no reward, right? From Fanatics Collect perspective. So from the perspective of a seller, you wouldn't want a bunch of crappy cards. From the, And I say that, I've got a bunch of crappy cards too, right? I just sell them on eBay or I sell them in bulk or I send them to a consigner to sell it on eBay. Uh, from a buyer standpoint, you don't want to sift through all that from a seller standpoint you don't want to clutter it up you want as many eyeballs on your card as possible the fewer cards the more eyeballs per card and then from a business standpoint i don't want to do a whole bunch of work for almost you know none or a very small return so from everybody's perspective it makes sense let's keep it classy right as ron burgundy said keep it classy san diego or something like that let's keep the cards classy let's not send a bunch of junk out there um and then and that's it i can't think of anything else i'm sure i forgot something uh they retain the nice little field on here for you to enter your promo code cajun all capital letters look here it is i'll even show you You just type it in c-a-j-u-n boom just like that it's highlighted uh it's not val it's not valid for the selected submission type and the reason is because i haven't filled anything out <laughs> i haven't i haven't submitted any cards in there yet so i would hope uh please please asap let me know if you get something that says this promo code is not valid after you filled out 21 cards uh, but right now, obviously, it's not going to work because I haven't uh, added 21 items in there to send it under the uh, 1899 bulk value. So uh, that's it, guys. Nothing else to see here. Let me know if you guys are excited about this. I knew this time was going to come eventually. I heard rumblings about it. I guess PSA was waiting for the conversion and the brand change to uh, Fanatics Collect. But now it's official. Uh, this should be a uh, another way to streamline uh, going from unwanted cards to wanted cash to buy wanted cards. It's basically a way for you to uh, go out with the old, in with the new. Out with the uh, unloved and back in with the loved. And you can go buy the cards you know and love, right? And then you can even buy them on Fanatics Collect. So thank you guys for watching. Keep collecting. Stay positive in the hobby. The National's right around the corner. I can't wait to see you guys. Stop me at the National. I'm going to have a, um, a film crew of one with me. Cajun Jr. is making the trip. We're driving up there. Uh, change of plans. Canceled my plane tickets. I'm bringing Cajun Jr., who is my uh, 1A for this trip. He's going to learn a lot. I want you guys to stop me. We're going to do some content with you guys that watch the channel. I can't wait. I got a, a list of, uh, like a buffet of questions I'm going to ask every single person that stops me and says, hey, I watch your channel. Boom, you're getting on camera. I'm putting you on the channel. We're going to ask you, you know, I'm going to have about 12 questions. I'm going to ask you three of those 12 questions. It's going to take about two minutes. We're going to shake hands, slap back, and then uh, I'll send you on your way, and I'll keep walking the floor, rinse and repeat. It's going to be a blast, man. It's going to be fun. I can't wait to see you guys up there. I don't think I've ever been this excited about going to a national. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm talking faster than even normal. Uh, again, that's it. Thanks, guys, for watching. Keep collecting. Stay positive in the hobby. And peace.